Good day. In this topic, you are going to learn to use divisibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12 to find the common factors. Using divisibility rules of 4, 8, 11, and 12 will help you find the factors of a number. At the end of this topic, you are expected to first use divisibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12 to find common factors and second appreciate the use of divisibility rules for 4 8 11 and 12 find common factors but first let's recall what we have learned in the previous topics the divisibility rules for 2 3 5 6 9 and 10 a divisibility rule is a simple way of determining whether a given number is divisible by another number. It can be used to quickly find the factors of given numbers. Divisible by another number means a number can be divided by another number without any remainder. In the previous topic, we have learned the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Let's recall what we have learned by doing the exercise below. See if the numbers in the first column are divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, or 10. Mark X on the corresponding columns. Divisibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12 to find common factors. How do we know if a number is divisible by 4, 8, 11, or 12? Divisibility rules for 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits form a number that is divisible by or multiple by 4. Also, if ends into zero. Example, 960. The last two digit is 6 and 0. 60 is divisible by 4. 60 divide 4 equals 15. Therefore, 960 is divisible by 4. How about 2,800? The last two digits is 0. Is 2,800 is divisible by 4? Yes, because the last two digits composed of 2, 0. Therefore, 2,800 is divisible by 4. Divisibility rules for 8. A number is divisible by 8. If the last three digits form a number that is divisible by or multiple of eight, also if it ends in three zeros. Example 1768. The last three digit is divisible by eight. 768 divide eight equals 96. Therefore, 1768 is divisible by 8. How about 2000? Is 2000 divisible by 8? Yes, because the last three digits composed of three zeros. Therefore, 2000 is divisible by 8. Divisibility rules for 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. So, meron tayong dalawang conditions. 
Example, 960. 960 is divisible by 3. Let's add. 9 plus 6 equals 15. Divide 3 equals 5. Is 960 divisible by 4? 60 divided by 4 equals 15. So both conditions are satisfied. The divisibility by 3 and divisibility by 4. Therefore, 960 is divisible by 12. How about 5724? Is 5724 is divisible by 3? Let's add. 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 4 equals 18. Divide 3 equals 6. Is 5724 divisible by 4? 24 divided 4 equals 6. So both conditions are satisfied. Therefore, 5724 is divisible by 12. Divisibility rules for 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of its alternating digits is 0 or any number that is divisible by 11. Example, 891. Let's add the first and the third number. 1 plus 8 equals 9. Minus, let's get the second number, 9 equals 0. Therefore, 891 is divisible by 11. Let's have another example. 3,157. Let's add the first and the third number. And the second and the fourth. 7 plus 1 was 8. Minus the plus 5, 3 equals 8. So the answer is 0. Therefore, 3,157 is divisible by 11. Let's have an exercise. Read the items below. Choose the correct letter of the answer. Which of the following is divisible by 4 and 8? 44, 120, 124, or 142? 4 is a factor of 152, 130, 174, or 182. Which of the following has common factors of 4 and 12? 144, 146, 251, or 54? Which set of numbers has a common factor of 4? 32, 46, 124, 154, 36, 42, 54, 122, 28, 46, 82, 132, or 24, 48, 128, 232. 11 is a common factor of 143 and 275, 143 and 432, 324 and 214, or 182 and 43. Let's have another exercise. Read the mathematical statements below and find out whether they are correct or not. If a number is divisible by 4, it must be divisible by 8. No. Only number that divisible by 8 are also divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if its last two digits are divisible by 4. All numbers ending in 0 are divisible by 8. No. A number is divisible by 8 if the numbers formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8. If a number is divisible by 8, it must be divisible by 4. Yes. A number is divisible by 8 will be divisible by 4, as 4 is a factor of 8. The sum of two consecutive odd numbers 
is always divisible by 11? No. If a number exactly divides the sum of two numbers, it must exactly divide the numbers separately. Yes. For example, sum of 2 and 4 is, is 6. 6 is divisible by 2. 4 and 2 are both divisible by 2. The explanation by number 4 is if the difference of the sum of its alternating digits is 0 or any number that is divisible by 11. Here are examples of numbers that are divisible by 4, 8, 11, and 12. Let's find out why the given numbers below are divisible by 4, 8, 11, or 12. Put a check mark in the corresponding column to identify whether each number in the first column is divisible by 4, 8, 11, or 12. Let's find out why 264 is divisible by 4, 8, 11, or 12. Divisible by 4, 264. The last two digit is divisible by 4? Yes, 64 divided by 4 equals 16. Divisible by 8. 264 is divisible by 8. 264 divided by 8 equals 33. Divisible by 12. 264 is divisible by 4. Yes. An example of divisible by 4, it shows that 264 is divisible by 4. So the first condition is, it, is satisfied. Is 264 di divisible by 3? Let's add. 2 plus 6 plus 4 equals 12. The by 3 equals 4. So the second condition is also satisfied. Divisible by tw 11. 264. Let's add the first and third number. 4 plus 2 equals 6 minus let's get the second number 6 equals 0 this means that 264 is divisible by 4 8 11 and 12 now let's find out if 176 is divisible by 4 8 11 or 12 divisible by 4 176 Is 76 divisible by 4? 76 divided 4 equals 19. So divisible by 4 siya. Divisible by 8. Is 176 divisible by 8? Yes. Divisible by 12. Is 176 divisible by 4? Yes. As an example, in the first solution it shows that 176 is divisible by 4 so the first condition is satisfied how about 176 is divisible by 3 let's add 1 plus 7 plus 6 equals 14 divide 3 equals 4.6 so hindi siya divisible by 12 only one condition ang nasatisfied. Remember, sa divisible by 12, dapat dalawang condition ang masatisfied. Divisible by 4 and divisible by 3. Divisible by 11. 
176. Let's add the first and the third number. 6 plus 1 equals 7. Let's get the second number, 7. 7 minus 7 equals 0. This means that 176 is only divisible by 4, 8, and 11. Now let's find the common factors of 264 and 176 using the divisibility rules. Factors of 264. Factors of 176. The factor of 264 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 11, 12, 22, 24, 33, 44, 66, 88, 132, and 264. The factor of 176, 1, 2, 4, 8, 11, 16, 22, 44, 88, and 176. Therefore, the common factors of 264 and 176 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 11, 22, 44, and 88. Apply the divisibility rules in doing the exercise. Activity 1. Use the divisibility rules to list down all the factors of each pair numbers. 160 and 320. Factors of 160. Factors of 320. The factor of 160 are the factor of 320 are Therefore, the common factors of 160 and 320 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 32, 40, 80, and 160. Number 2. 132 and 264. Factors of 132. Bali, pinapakita lang natin dito kung alin siya po pwede na divisible factors of 264 the factor of 132 are the factor of 264 are Therefore, the common factors of 132 and 264 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 11, 12, 22, 33, 44, 66, and 132. Number 3. 528 and 396. The factor of 528 are, and the factor of 396 are, therefore, the common factors of 528 and 396 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 11, 12, 66, and 132. 288 and 120. The factor of 288 are 
and the factor of 120R. Therefore, the common factors of 288 and 120 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. 240 and 112. The factor of 240R, the factor of 112R, therefore the common factors of 240 and 112 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Activity 2. Using the divisibility rules, write on the blank if the number on the left column is a common factor to, to the numbers on the right column and false or not. Activity 3. Shade the box of 4, 8, 11, or 12 if, the, if they are common factors of the given numbers. How do you use divisibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12 in finding the common factors? Supply the missing terms below. Use the visibility rules to help you solve the problem inside the box. How many whole numbers from 20 to 40 are divisible by 4, 8, 11, and 12? How many whole numbers are divisible by 4? How many whole numbers are divisible by 8? How many whole numbers are divisible by 11? And how many whole numbers are divisible by 12? Choose the letter of the correct answer. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 11? Medyo malaki ang number na ito, kaya ipakita natin yung paano siya isolve. A. So, in natin ang 2nd, 4th, and 6th number. So, 5 plus 8 plus 4 equals 17. Tapos, in natin ang 1st, 3rd, and 5th. 3 plus 6 plus 1 equals 10. So, 17 minus 10 equals 7. So, hindi letter A ang sagot. How about letter B? So, 8 plus 9 plus 6 equals 23. Inad din natin yung 1st, 3rd, and 5th. 4 plus 2 plus 3 equals 9. So, 23 minus 9 equals 14. So, hindi rin. How about letter C? 2 plus 7 
plus 9 equals 18. 1 plus 4 plus 2 equals 7. So, 18 minus 7 equals 11. So, the answer is letter C. Take the items carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Now remember, all numbers that are divisible by 12 are also divisible by 3 and 4. All numbers that are divisible by 8 are also divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of its alternating digits is 0. Hanggang sa muli!